hey what's up y'all welcome back to my channel as you can see we're not gonna do a long intro we're just gonna get right into this braidless crochet hairstyle as you can see we're going to be using this hair i absolutely love how natural this hair looks it definitely mimics natural hair and it is so affordable you guys i believe it has to be like 6.99 a pack so as you can see we're going to do a half up half down i just have my hair already parted in ponytails and i went ahead and made sure i put them in little buns so it's easier for me to crochet the hair in so you're just going to crochet the hair in regularly you really don't have to think too much into it you just want to definitely make sure that your hair is moisturized before you start this protective style because again it is a protective style and you don't want to go into a style not protecting your hair. So as you can see, just sticking a needle through, pulling it through the hair, and I'm just gonna tie it once. And just tying it once did the trick. So I'm not going to hold y'all too long because if you are not new to my channel, you've seen probably so many braidless crochet videos so it's still the same technique and i know you're probably wondering about the bun in the back i promise you the hair is going to cover the bun just continue to watch the rest of this video and you'll see how i achieve this look So right here, I'm just showing you that the hair does come with three bundles in one pack. So I did use one full pack and one bundle out of the second pack. And when it comes to the back, I do understand that, you know, if the wind blow, you just want to make sure your bun does not show. So all you have to do is just take a couple hairpins and just pin some of the hair down and you'll be good to go. So now we're moving on to the top portion of my hair. I am going to take a hair tie and I'm just going to take a few pieces of the hair and wrap that around the hair tie. And then you'll see me install it like a regular ponytail.
this is the finished look. You definitely want to make sure you do not skip the fluffing step because I believe that fluffing the hair with either a pick or a wide tooth comb is definitely going to make the difference. So I'm going to leave all of the information down in the description box below. I know we are all home on quarantine right now, so you might as well try out these affordable, cute, protective styles on your hair until your salon open back up. <laughs> So thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Y'all be blessed and stay safe. Stay inside. I don't care what people say. We need to make sure we're staying inside. <laughs>